So here we have the flathead cuttlefish. Now, we chopped it into, the head is going to be soup, the tail is going to be kind of like hot braised. And what we did, we, we just like boiled the catfish so the layer of slime off the top is gone. So kind of like the catfish is clean, it's boiled, now we're going to make soup and hot braised catfish. So we're just adding the catfish head into the pot of boiling water. What's sweet thing? So uh, it's like yeah, we in the water we have green green onions and uh, ginger. So it's like catfish wine. Wine. So yeah, so we have catfish head, green onion, ginger, and some wine. That's how you uh, make catfish soup. No breading. Just a uh, clean catfish head, and uh, this is a much bigger catfish head than we usually use. We just stir it a little bit, let it rest in there, and we let it sit there until like the flavor permeates. Flatheads don't have quite the fishy smell that channels do. So we turn it around and we just make sure the meat is cooked. And uh, the flatheads are a little bit more fatty than the channels as well. This is about a three pound flathead gottlefish. So uh, yeah, we just uh, put the lid on and we let it broil. So the drum is actually really good for this soup. You just clean the drum, you clean the drum, take all the insides, don't take out the bones. And the head has all the bones in it too, um, but drum is actually really, really good with the soup. The flavor of the drum really seeps in. I'm not really sure about the flathead, but the flesh of the flathead looks really good. After you make the soup, the flesh you eat with um, vinegar, and it's really, really good. So for catfish like this, you should actually, uh, we didn't do this, but you should actually um, cook it a little bit for, for maybe a minute or two in oil. And if you do that, like the water becomes like a, bro a brothy type of like white. And it looks better. I don't think it affects the taste all that much, but it actually looks better. But uh, if you use drum in the soup, you don't really need that oil step because it, the water basically turns white regardless. But for catfish, yes. Just tasted the soup and it tastes great. Might not look like anything, but the soup, the broth soup tastes really, really good. I have a small bonus. We are frying, stir frying broccoli and cauliflower. It's just oil, salt, water, and hoisin sauce. This is uh, olive oil, basically, and we have some ginger over here. So we're going to use that. We're going to boil this uh, fish. It's probably going to take a while because this is usually a little bit bigger than the fish we boil. So basically just olive oil and ginger right now, and we're going to stir it a little bit. And uh, stir the section of the head we're using for soup. And this, we are uh, just going to hot braise it, and this is the first step of hot braising it. Sometimes we sprinkle a little bit of flour to hot braise, but right now, no. So we're going to stir dry it, and uh, that's the first step. We've turned it on the back, so we're just going to like, you know, boil it all around. It's going to take a little while to get through because um, it's quite a big fish. One extra note, I know most Americans like to fillet fish, but the hot braising and the soup, you leave the bones in, just remove the guts. We all, you always hot braise and make the soup with the bones, the bones give it a lot of flavor. So we have the fish, we just added green onions, we're stir frying. Green onions, um, not really sure what this stuff is. That's not sea salt, that's not the container it originally came in. It looks like some kind of spice, it's a, some kind of spice. In yeah, Chinese, it's, it's called uh, hua jiao, but it's like some kind of Chinese spice. It's, uh, and then we're mixing it with the, with the uh, green onion, the ginger, and, we'll boil, and then we're uh, just basically turning the fish. It's gonna take a while, but it's uh, gonna turn out to be great. Those are the ingredients. I'm not sure what this stuff is. But uh, there's a good look at it. This particular fish is a little big, so we're probably going to have to uh, chop it first before we pop it. So the pan's not big enough, so we're going to have to chop the catfish into bits or like big chunks and put it back in the pot. And I want to braise it all the way through, so there we go. Some uh, chopping some catfish and um, Usually we wouldn't do this because the fish is small enough to fit in the pan, but this one, a couple of pounds, didn't prep it quite right, so we're going to just chop it and put it back in the pan. It'll be fine, though. You have to keep flipping it until all sides are uh, cooked. You want all the flesh to be cooked. 
we added some cooking wine, and see now it's getting really boiling. Cooking wine, and we also need some soy sauce later. Cooking wine is too Cooking wine kind of gets rid of the uh, fishy kind of smell, taste. This fish isn't very fishy anyways, but it does get rid of like the fishy taste for other fish. So there's cooking wine in there. And now we're adding a decent amount of soy sauce. Mm -hmm. That gives it the color and of course gives it more taste. So cooking wine and soy sauce. And that, that is the, uh, and now we're adding the coloration soy sauce. This, this soy sauce is mainly to give it more color. But uh, yeah, a different type of soy sauce. The soy sauce to give it more color. What kind of soy sauce is that? that so we, we, yeah, so this is the more colored soy sauce. There's two types of soy sauce. I think it would taste okay without this one. But the other one's definitely necessary, but this one does give it that color. The color of soy sauce is notably uh, deeper in color than the other soy sauce. And you can see the hot braised fish is taking uh, shape and it's taking color. It's very good. And you have just to hot braise it for, I don't know, some amount of time. And then when uh, it has a little bit more color, you have to add water to uh, hot braise it. Over here with the catfish soup, we've lowered the temperature. We've let it broil for about 20 minutes. And then now we've lowered the temperature. And uh, it's pretty much done at this point. You eat the, you eat the catfish uh, head with uh, vinegar. And the soup it tastes great. For the last bit of the soup, we put in some uh, white powdered pepper, sesame oil, and I don't know what that was. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's, that's actually like ESG or something, MSG, but you don't really need that. Um, it tastes just fine without it. So white pepper powder and sesame oil. And we add a little bit of uh, sugar. I think it's brown sugar, right? Yeah, brown sugar. Add a little bit of brown sugar to sweeten up the taste for that last little bit of a touch. I think like we usually hot, bro hot broil smaller fish. Uh, we don't really hot broil ones this big all that often. So usually we do it with drum, uh, white bass, crappie, and things like that. Depending on how big the fish is, that's kind of how you, uh, how long you have to broil it. This one is probably going to take uh, probably like 20 minutes or so. About half an hour. Take it for around a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And uh, when you, just before you take it out, you want to add a couple of green onions as well. So that's how you make the hot braised catfish, or hot braised fish. Obviously the smaller the fish is for crappie, you wouldn't have to boil it nearly as long. This is the finished product. We dumped a little, just slightly more of that uh, catfish soup on here to finish, and we got the green onions. That is a hot braised gato fish. Gato soup using a flathead catfish. We usually use drum or something, but flatheads work just as well. It just takes a little bit longer. We're gonna dump the rest of the sauce on it. And it's gonna look and taste just magnificent. Well, I hope you've had fun uh, watching this episode. Tune in next time where we will discuss how to slap a grizzly bear in the face to assert dominance. Thank you and have a nice day.